Today we are going to compare some bus simulators and see which one is best. Bus Simulator 21, the Fern Bus, and the latest and newest release of the Bus will all be analysed, dissected, and spat to the curb for your viewing pleasure. As simulators go, it's a pretty crowded marketplace without any particular game standing out. So the question here is, people, why isn't there a standout game for bus simulators? Well, grab your bus pass and let's have a chat. <laughs> Having got a few night buses in London, Reggie knows his fair share of what shit looks like, so I'm perfectly poised to give you all some mini reviews today. I'll go through each game giving a quick analysis of gameplay, graphics and sound with a little final verdict of each. All games here reviewed are using Toby Eye Tracker and a Logitech wheel and pedals, along with ultra settings and all games at 4K. So let's drive straight in shall we? We start with Burn Bus, which is a simulator that takes a different approach to the other two games being discussed today. Here we are concerned more about long distance driving than we are city driving. That's because in Fern Bus Simulator, you bomb about the place in a tourist bus, taking ungrateful passengers from city to city across Germany. Think of it as like driving a mega bus, where for one quid, you too can sit 72 hours listening to people taking a shit. What I quite like about the approach of Fern Bus is that it's more focused on the actual driving than it is passenger interaction. Sure, you have to tick off passenger forms at each destination to check them in, but it's not really a fully engaged service where folks are buying tickets just for a few stops and need dropping off every bloody two minutes. Whilst I've mentioned it focuses on sprawling distances than it does city driving, I will say that when you do enter the cities, they look pretty good boys and girls, certainly as detailed and intricate as other simulators like American Truck Simulator. Driving in general takes a bit of skill because the bus handles in a cumbersome fashion, but that is a good thing. You'll be smashing the speed limit at 100 miles per hour, going through country roads, and as you follow through on a bend, you'll find that the wheel pushes against you, giving this lovely little bit of false feedback. Likewise, suddenly braking causes your wheels to lock up, and generally speaking, you'll find that you'll need to drive it like you would any other big vehicle, knowing its weight is going to cause you to mess up quite a bit. Now, once you have completed a route, you get a rating, which in turn allows you to do further upgrades. In particular, I will say that punishments for poor driving are weak, and many times you can drive around like Tiger Woods, smashing into everything and experience very little in the way of naughty points. The issue, however, is that there isn't much game here. You sort of find yourself having to make your own routes in career mode. And after a while, there feels like a lack of purpose to proceedings. I do like the fact that over time, they introduce customer satisfaction, such as letting them take a shit and whatnot, but it could have been so much better with far more variation in their interaction, such as tracks being unruly on your bus or having an emergency taking you off course, etc. Traffic wise, it feels far more realistic than what you see in Bus Simulator 21, where roads in Fern Bus, they just feel genuinely packed and you'll spend some time getting through busy cities as you hit traffic lights, whereas the motorways and freeways play out like you would expect a Speed Freaks playground. Traffic AI, well, it's so-so. At one point, I did have a massive articulate lorry ramming into me sides for no bloody reason, and it would not budge. What a little c he was. As for graphics, it's pretty tidy, especially considering this game is now, what, six years old, and it still looks pretty bloody good. I got this on epic settings, of course, at 4K, and I'm impressed how light reflects around the place and bloom from headlights creates that lovely little foggy feel to proceedings. Rain on the roads and bus itself look realistic and textures look sharp. Per usual though, passengers, they look like shit and walk around like they have a cork up their ass. But overall, everything just works. One of the most impressive parts for me on the visuals is the landscape. I do love how you go from city to countryside and it really does feel, come the end of your journey, that you've taken these rejects of human society on a proper pilgrimage across country. Rolling hills and greenery quickly turn to concrete jungles and it's done with such subtlety that it makes Germany feel alive. Sounds a pretty abject really, with that what you get here is standard and nothing to shout home about. One of the great things to add though is the radio station, exactly like American Truck Simulator where you can listen into a proper station. I have to be careful of course allowing you to listen into this due to the YouTube spies asking for copyrighted material get taken down, but the radio itself 
it sounds like it's coming from a radio and the engine it sounds like it's rumbling at the back of the bus it all has the right distance to it if you know what i mean boys and girls it's just that the sounds they're pretty boring there's not enough feedback to the world around you a more richer approach here would have done fern bus wonders so final verdict here is strong it tries to be different to the other games on the list then i think it manages it pretty well if all you really want to do is drive a bus with lesser engagement with the passenger side of things then this is the one for you it looks very good it sounds average but it feels authentic and that is surely a good place to be next up is bus simulator 21 which is a sequel to bus simulator 18 which reggie and the boys quite enjoyed here you take control of your very own bus company where you buy multiple buses along the way and they play out a story of sorts and you help develop a city by providing excellent transportation services this really is the immediate difference to firm bus because here the game is far more about customer engagement and running a company as much as it is driving the bloody bus with that though does come some major issues as you drive about the gaff you'll get points for good driving or for telling passengers to keep their bloody music down or for letting them off not at their normal stop but in between you'll need to ensure you use your blinkers and indicate at all opportunities and you've got to make sure you give the right amount of change when selling tickets it's a proper hands-on affair that does simulate the part of being a miserable bus driver quite well all that's missing is the ability to tell a chav to fuck off as you get high points for your services, you can then upgrade your bus stops so more passengers can hop on to your deadly night service and you in turn get more cash to buy more buses. Other ways to make money include selling advertising on the side of your bus. Now this all is pretty basic stuff people and it might seem a bit tedious at times but I do respect the fact they're trying to get you fully involved in the simulator That's aspect here so not too many complaints from Reggie from on that company. one. So what does piss me off then that I was talking about earlier? Well, what it is, it's the campaign people where setting up routes becomes a convoluted and frustrating mess. You have to ensure you hit different districts for your bus stops, but then on top of that, you need to manage a demand factor and actually balance it out with a stop that's not in demand. Otherwise, the route can't be made. From on top, a day and night bus service, and you're left with something that is akin to a Liz Truss government it's frankly a load of bollocks however if you can get past all that nonsense you will eventually see other drivers and buses from your company populating the town and at any moment you can hop onto that bus and take control from its live route it's a lovely little feature and overall compared to firm bus there is just more to get your teeth stuck into however let's not forget what this game is which is of course simulating a bus now reggie can't say he hasn't driven a bus before other than the time when he was 14 to take what i say here with a pinch of salt but for my money firm bus actually does a better job of handling as that particular bus will fight you on sharp turns at high speeds but not here people not in bus simulator 21 where it feels like the bus is on ice skates and glides around the map with ease i never felt like i had issues controlling the bus around a tight corner and whilst it's easy to get in a tight spot down a road with traffic it doesn't have the same weight you feel as fern did especially when using the brakes and having your head jolt forward in addition i find it less satisfying when using the wheel on bus simulator than i did fern bus as you don't have the same level of false feedback working against you Another criticism I have of the game here is how it feels like you constantly have your indicators on, blinkers for you Americans. It's not down to having short roads, or it's not even really down to the maps being small, they're actually pretty big, but something is wrong about the scaling in certain places. Once you take into consideration you need to indicate for each turn, indicate when pulling out on traffic, indicate when entering a bus stop and exiting a bus stop, there are portions of the map where it feels like all you fucking do is indicate. Traffic here is also a disappointment and at times the city feels sparse, it's not exactly empty, but playing this directly after playing something like Firm Bus or indeed the bus, I came to realise that the traffic density here could easily be increased to offer more of a challenge. Likewise, the AI is pretty piss poor at times where it backs up in strange places for no apparent reason. Graphically, it's okay, but after Bus Simulator 18, I was hoping for far more in the way of pizzazz. It looks clean and some nice little effects, don't get me wrong, but the roads, they all look a bit drab and brown, and it lacks some of the detail when compared to the bus. Animations are also poor with people walking and jogging at a snail's pace as if they all suffer 
from brittle bone disease. Your own character also runs with a cool cut their ass, and you can't help but feel the animations in general detract away from the authenticity of a hustling and bustling city. Rain looks decent and lighting is workable, but in all cases, it's nothing to leave a lasting impression with textures looking a bit flat with an uninteresting landscape. What I do like here is that the change in landscape is just like Fern Bus in that it too manages to go from city to countryside nicely and everything feels connected in a good, positive way. Sound is for me the biggest letdown of all three games. You'll constantly hear the annoying ding sound whenever you drop off passengers at a stop and other sounds such as that bloody indicator become incessantly annoying given that it's on all the time. Where it works better is in the little ambient sounds such as when a bus goes over a little pothole and you get that lovely little shake from the dashboard or how cars sound in the rain as their wheels meet the standing water. Hi. Engine sounds a pancake there? flat and after a while you wish there too oh, yeah? was some kind of radio feature to Those pass the time. As for menu music place. when designing bus I routes and whatnot, it it's frankly atrocious. And the voice acting, oh my god people, the well. voice acting. I've seen better acting from a nativity play of five year olds. Generally speaking, it cheapens the overall experience. So Bus Simulator 21 then is a bit of a letdown. It's not bad, but it never really grew from Bus Simulator 18. And honestly, I'd stick with the former to save you a few bucks. Improvements have been made to the graphics, albeit minor, but animations are poor and the convoluted story and objectives the game gives you really slows down the progress. It's a shame then because a well thought out and proper bus management sim could have worked wonders here. And whilst you can see where the developers were going with it, you almost wish they just invented a skip button and the routes would sort themselves out. Finally, we have the bus. Now, first and foremost, I must mention this bad boy is in early access, so it has a ton of features missing. The roadmap promises optimizations, better AI, multiplayer, and a fully fledged campaign, but it doesn't give a timing of when that shit is supposed to come out of early access into full blown release. It's made by the same folks who made Firm Bus, and so you feel their expertise here will give them an advantage. What the bus is ultimately trying to do is actually take the mantelpiece from the bus simulator franchise in offering you the ability to create and run a bus company in a fully realized city. But right now, it's just simply too far behind. If it lives up to its promise on the roadmap, I think it might just be the number one bus simulator to go for. Now they're gonna charge you $25 for this. So with that, we've got to give it the same critiques as the other two games. Firstly, are the game modes where really all you get to play with is a free play mode and do some set routes. There's a lot missing here, boys and girls, in the form of customer engagement. Something I think a game that takes on a bus simulator needs to have in spades. Obviously, it's going to be coming down the line, but just be aware of that. However, I do like the interaction with the computer system in how you set up your routes and the ability for customers to pay with their phone as much as they do with proper fiat money. It works in a similar fashion to bus simulator with stops and arrival times to play with. But what is immediately clear here is the city. It feels so much more alive than what you had in bus simulator. Traffic is busy and I found myself waiting for lights to change, only to miss out on pulling through. You sort of feel that road rage festering inside you like a proper bus driver. As yet you can break most laws and crash into cars without consequence, but I'm sure they will be added in due course. What I prefer about the city driving here is our bus lanes are aplenty and you'll come across big landmarks with huge roundabouts to navigate, giving most Americans who watch this little video a heart attack. Adlin here is also good and whilst not as tight as say firm bus in how it feels heavy to drive it does still feel better and more authentic than the bus simulator franchise when using the wheel. It's hard to really grasp where this game is going so early on though so I'm going to be foolish to say it gives you more than what bus simulator does because overall in terms of gameplay it simply doesn't. If you want to run and manage a bus company in a city then give this one a miss now and wait for it to bake in the oven longer. As for graphics, it's easily the best of the bunch. Lighting is actually a bit overdone for me and the bloom effects need a bit of toning down. Likewise, you're gonna get a lot of graininess from the post-processing effects they added, along with intermittent stutters. I'm on a 3080 and the game struggles at times, but fingers crossed a few patches can sort this out. But even with all this taken into account, it looks far better 
and a less cartoony version of Bus Simulator and has a firm bus feel to proceedings whilst including a lot of nice graphical features. Bus interiors are full of detail and rain effects look the best of all games reviewed. However, the world is still in development, so the jewelry is ultimately still out, but so far people so good sound now here's one that i think is a bit of a letdown it's highly limited you see it's still early days and it's got some incredibly basic sounds to go on it does include the radio station however like what you get in firm bus so immediately you've got something to bop your head to ambient sounds as mentioned are in the basic form but certain passable i think the key here to discuss is ensuring that they get a lot of engagement and interaction from passengers once they get this part of the game up and running. Some truly fully voice acted characters would do wonders here for immersion. I'd love to have a passenger tell another passenger to turn their fucking music down. We can only dream people. Overall then, in its current form, the bus gets the lowest score simply because it's not in a place that deserves anything higher, especially for your $25. But also no, it's the game that has the most promise. If they stick to their promises and give us more than the bus simulator franchise, then you're gonna have the best city driving game around and one that could last for many years. So a bit like Kanye West there, we're all a little bit lost here because it's a mixed bag no matter what game you go for. The firm bus, it's got a different concept, more akin to truck simulator than a bus simulator, but lacks any real bus simulation like the other two games. Bus Simulator 21 is decent in all areas, but doesn't master any of its craft after Bus Simulator 18. And the bus itself, it looks superb, but it lacks in many core features and it's very much early, early access. So here is Reggie's view. If you have a hankering for a proper bus game, do yourself a favor, buy both the firm bus for as little as eight bucks on some sites, and in addition, buy Bus Simulator. But buy Bus Simulator 18. I feel this meets all needs and can be had for under $20 as a pair. Skip Bus Simulator 21 because it doesn't warrant its price based on what it delivers. The bus, now that's an expensive experiment in my eyes and I can't suggest it until we at least see a fully fledged career in there, which leads perhaps to the strangest point of all people. If you are after a game that allows you to drive long distances in beautifully realized worlds with great sound and the ability to create your own company and career, then the best of all is American Truck Simulator. Different game, yes, but the bus games of this world, they still lack something. And unless the bus can live up to its potential, it's gonna be another few years of disappointment for all of us. And with that, my lovelies, Reggie out.